Hi everyone, in previous classes already we have studied about the Bohr's atomic model of an atom and the line hydrogen spectrum and some numericals based on it also. Somewhere the Bohr's also fails to explain the structure of an atom. Some facts, uh, some facts he can't explain through his postulates or through his ideas. So where the Bohr's fails to explain the structure of an idea about the atom. In today's class, I wish to discuss about the limitations of limitations of Bohr's atomic model. Limitations of Bohr's Bohr's atomic model. So, what are the limitations of Bohr's atomic model here? So, where the Bohr fails to explain the structure of an atom. So see here, his first limitation or his first drawback, I already told you, Bohr's explain about the single electron species. What single electron species means hydrogen like atoms. He explain about the single electron species. Like, like hydrogen like like hydrogen atom means lithium plus 2 and helium plus so these type of a single electron species is only he can explain by his model he can't explain a multi electron species like atoms and next drawback is and next drawback is he can't explain about the G-man effect. He can't explain about the G-man effect. So what do you mean by G-man effect here? G-man effect is the thing but the splitting of splitting of splitting of spectral lines splitting of spectral spectral lines in presence of magnetic field in presence of in presence of magnetic field magnetic field so what happened in a g-man effect if we are having a spectral lines that they are when we are putting this spectral lines in presence of a magnetic field then what happened they splits they splits the splitting of spectral lines takes place in presence of a magnetic field in pre, uh, this effect is called as in a g-man effect but Bohr's can't explain about clear and he can't give an idea about this g-man effect why these spectral lines are happen how they are arranged so, he can't explain any term of this G-man effect. Now, this is the second limitation or second drawback or second failure of a Bohr's atomic model. And next, Stark effect. Stark effect. So, here, here also same, I like a G-man effect, but one thing is different. In a Stark effect, the splitting of spectral lines <coughs> takes place. In a G-man effect, the splitting of spectral lines takes place in presence of a magnetic field. So, in a Stark effect, the splitting of spectral line in presence of an electric field. When we are, <coughs> uh, this is our spectral lines. When we are put these spectral lines in an electric field, then what happened? Again, they get splits. So, see here. What do you mean by Stark effect? The splitting of splitting of spectral lines, spectral lines, splitting of spectral lines in presence of in presence of what electrical field in presence of electric field. So, this is called as an, a Stark effect. Bohr's can't explain about this Stark effect also. He can't say anything about the Stark effect. So, he fails to explain this effect. 
So this is the third limitations of Bohr's atomic model. And next, again where he failed. <coughs> Fourth limitation is he can't explain about the chemical bonding, the formation of mole molecules through the chemical bonding. So see here, we are having a hydrogen atom and we are having oxygen atom. We are having again one hydrogen atom. So, it is an example. How they are combined and how they form a water molecule. He can't explain about the this molecular formation through the chemical bonds. So, this is also one limitation for Bohr's atomic model. So, see here. <coughs> he can't explain or the model can't model can't explain can't explain the formation of molecules formation of formation of molecules molecules through through chemical bonds through chemical bond how actually the chemical bonds are takes place how the molecules are formed he can't explain about the about his sorry he can't explain by his model so this is the fourth limitations of a bohr's and next one is our molecules are our in our molecules the atoms are arranged on a fashionate way for example in ammonia <coughs> just consider the hydrogens are arranged like this why these arranged why these hydrogens are arranged in a particular in a particular fashionate way he can't explain this term also he can't explain these terms also so these are all the limitations of bohr's atomic model so once i wish to uh, repeat here so the first limitation is single electron species is only he can explain like a hydrogen atom or lithium plus 2 and helium plus 2 he can't explain multi electron species atoms and he can't explain the zeeman effect and the stark effect so what do you mean by the zeeman effect the splitting of spectral lines takes place in presence of an a magnetic field and what is the meaning of an stark effect the splitting of spectral lines in presence of electric field so he can't explain about the Zeeman effect and the Stark effect and next he can't explain the formation of molecule through the chemical bonds how chemical bonds are occurs how the molecules are formed he uh, his model can't explain this fact <clears throat> and next the fashionate way or the arrangement of an atoms takes place in the molecule this fact is also can't explain by the Bohr's atomic model of an atom. So these are some drawbacks or some limitations of a Bohr's atomic model. In a next class, I will come with a very important model that is a quantum model and that quantum model gives a clear explanation about an idea of structure of an atom. That class is very important. Today's class I wish to complete here only. <coughs>